Hey guys, it's Girl Got Game. Welcome back to Magical Diary Wolf Hall, where we are here to do Corinna Lee's route. She's not actually on screen right now, but this is right before we first lay eyes on her after initiation is done. I'm not sure if she actually says anything here, but I thought we'll start off here, start off strong. I am going to attempt to get some of my combo spells finished up that I may not have gotten yet. So, I'm working on red, blue, and white this time around. So we'll see how that goes. I kind of forgot that I was going to try harder with the spark. And I have failed at that. Oh well. <laughs> uh, what can you do? Maybe I'll figure out something anyway. I gotta figure out why it disappears. Off on a tangent. Uh, Corinna. <laughs> we're, we're not here to romance a spark. We're here to romance Corinna. So, with that being said, we need to actually become president and join the poetry club. So that's our that's our goals overall. But let's meet our girl. Welcome, freshman. It's time for the final phase of your initiation. Corinna will be passing out the blindfolds. Please put them on. A long-haired I, I mean, oh, I got to get back to Franco. Franco thoughts. Just, just Franco thoughts. A long-haired snake senior tiptoes around the room, delicately placing a strip of dark fabric in the hands of each freshman. So far, this initiation process has been odd and occasionally irritating, but not dangerous, just as William promised. The worst that's happened is the girl who got detention. And that hurt her feelings, but nothing more. Well, the worst that I know of, anyway. Blindfolds, though, suggest that things are about to step up a notch. Is this really all right? Yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead with it. I think that's... I think that's it. Okay. So now we'll skip ahead once again. Um, I might as well just hang out with my boys. Why not? Um, and we'll go window shopping, because I don't have any money to buy anything. Things are going okay. Uh, I'm glad it's over, you know? Uh, did we, most importantly, write about Corinna? Let's see, quest complete? No, no. Not so far. Okay. That's fine. We haven't had our first exam yet. I might be able to salvage this somehow. Okay. Maybe I should try- I've been doing blue and red so far, but maybe I should try doing white and get communication? Let's try. Let's see if we can do it. Uh, I'm a terrible singer. I could not possibly join you. I could not possibly. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna join anything. I'm going to study. I'm going to study with Minnie. And what did we get? We got empathy. Not communication yet. Done. Um, I'll share this time. I don't have to be schemy. Oh, right. I did rumors last time. What if I say my parents? Well, my parents know a little bit about how Iris Academy works. You know, to decide where to send me. Not the best lie if I'm trying to keep attention off me, but they seem to accept it. Okay. Haven't thrown William under the bus yet. He deserves a break. After what I put him through last route. Oh, my poor boy, William. William! Okay. Communication. Alright, we got communication. Uh, I am going to skip the study session. Alright. We're gonna save here. Need to try some things. Uh... There 
we go. Try some things. So, let's start with Spirit Sense. And then Communication. I reach out with my magic and feel our minds connect. Greetings to you. I am peaceful if you are peaceful. I am curious. Who are you? The creature's mind is filled with strange colors and concepts, but the magic of communication reshapes these thoughts into words I can understand. Hello, hello! You are a learner. I like learners. I like peace. Happy is good. Curious is good. You taste good. Are you eating me? Lick, lick. No bites. No harm. Only helping. The truth is undeniable. It wants to help me. And lick you. I am looking for the way out of this dungeon back to the surface. Do you know how I can escape? Yes, yes! Hidden in rocks! Come! Come! It begins to move. Okay. Now if it's disappeared again... It's still there! Sparkle! Stay with me, Sparkle. Oh no, sparkle, sparkle. Oh no, have I lost the sparkle again? I just, it just disappears. Sparkle friend, no. That was fun, I was enjoying that. All right. I am going, I need to figure out why it just disappears on me. Okay, this time I'm going to light up the way entirely, and then cast Spirit Sense. Which is kind of butts, but whatever. I had a sparkle friend that liked to lick me. There you are. Hey, buddy. Let's do this together. Okay. Um, again? Oh. Drifts down towards, no, into the floor where it disappears. Okay, so it tells you that there's something there, but you still have to use inspect. Interesting. I was hoping it would tell us a little bit more? But I finally got it to work, so you know what? I'm gonna count it as a win anyway. Whatever. I win. I'm a winner. I was such a winner, I didn't even let Possum congratulate me like I usually let her. <laughs> I'm a sore winner. Uh, okay, ignoring that. Let's see. All right, back on the path of red and blue. I do need white eventually as well, so that's good to have, but. Back on the path of getting that red-blue combo spell in case I have not got that yet. Um, hi, Potsdam. I do need to do, do I need to do, actually, yes. I'm following through with my other plan from last time. Yes, I'd rather distract Damien. <laughs> I'm flirty this time. I can win him over. Because I'm flirtatious. If you pull this off, I owe you one. But for now, you'd better get to class if you're going. Have I never done this when I've not been schemy? <laughs> Good job, me. Uh, yeah, extra merit sound. Great. Never know when you're gonna need those. And we definitely have to run for office. Okay. There, you'll help me, right? Thanks, buddy. And... I will study. Although... I can't remember, do I need 30 or 35 for a charm? It might be 35, just in case, I'll wait till next week. 
I will study with Minnie. Ah! I know what spell this is this time. Someone is trying to send me a message. Okay. I could skip the innocent act and jump straight to the flirting. Wink. Not this time, my boy. Um, let's... Act innocent. What did what did you say? Oh, did we meet? No, I'm pretty sure I would have remembered that. Oh right, I didn't actually run into him at the lake this time. Empathy. I could check to see how he felt, but he might catch me, and that would ruin my innocent look. Ha <laughs> ha. Such fun. I. Yes, I will share that pie. You fell for it for now. It's okay, man. You don't gotta tell me the deets. We good. Um, and done. Okay, so now I need to sleep for sure. And red, blue, red, blue. Done. Do -do -do -do. Corinna's so well hidden. I gotta make sure I have silence, actually, by the time I do the William thing. Okay. So, I am the Golden Eagle. I need to take the advance. I need... Is it badges or posters? Shoot, hold on. Note time from ages ago. During the mini route. Where is that? That's Barbara. No. Oh boy. Why is that sticky? Why is it sticky? Paper badges. Standard cupcakes. Okay. Hopefully, you know what? Hopefully. <laughs> okay. And hopefully. I can do it. If not, I gotta come back. Cause I gotta win. I gotta tie to win. It's the only way. Hey, it worked. I still have ninety-five dollars. Uh oh. And it would mean we'd spend a lot more time together. Yeah. I mean, no, but yeah. All right. Jacob always wins, so. Might as well vote for my, uh, my guy. I'll just ask that. Hello, Kyo. <laughs> uh, well, I can go to the mall for sure. Let's go to the magic shop. Okay. Uh, not glamours. Enchantments first. Need a blue. For sure. No, actually red. Red's the more important of the two. Buy a red. And should I buy white as well? I'm not gonna get money for a long time. Yeah, buy a white one. Go back. I'm gonna buy this on pastels and this on Suki's. And I've done the others already, so I think we're good. Do I want any... Do I want, like, normal glasses? Plus five? I want to make sure I have enough money again. I don't want to have what happened last... Yeah, you know what? No, I'm not having that happen again like it did the last time. Uh, we're friends, right? Oh, hello, Damien. I hear congratulations are in order. Oh, the election. Right, I'm supposed to be completely guileless as far as Damien is concerned. Not an effective political bargainer. It was really all Minnie's idea. She told me what to say. At least you said it well. She must be pleased. I'm not sure what she wants from me. 
She had some kind of plan about holding assemblies, but Professor Potsdam told her no. Assemblies? To teach the wild seeds our traditions and something about a dark dance. Oh, of course. Did Minnie do something wrong? Potsdam prefers for newcomers to learn at her pace and her choosing. Don't worry about it. I'm curious what that reaction is about, but I suppose it goes against my innocent persona to ask. May I join you? Uh, yeah, sure, man. I'm gonna break your heart in a little bit, but that's no problem. Let's see. Um, <laughs> like the elections, okay. Did anything else change here? No, 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 no. Eh. Make sure I put that on, at the very least. Okay. We good, we good. Alright. So, let me just check the blue. Okay, we have silence. We're good. We're good. Everything's fine. Continue on, continuing. I'm almost at 20 for blue, so. Um, I will leave Ellen alone. I've helped her enough this uh, route. Okay, follow the footsteps. Uh, we'll leave it. Oh yeah, I'm like, Pastel, what are you doing here? Oh right, we're spending time with Minnie. It's fine, I don't need to panic just yet. Okay, sneak after him. Okay. Let's meet Corinna. Let's get into this. Holy my breath, I pass through the door. It's a wizard's greenhouse. This must be where Professor Potsdam stores plants that are on display. Aren't on display. Like, lost my <laughs> breath there. And there are other students... Students? Oh boy, alright. I'm getting nervous about meeting my new crush, okay? And there are other students already here to greet William. There she is. Hello. Oh, are you bringing a new member? What? And now he turns and notices me. Franco, what are you doing here? Uh, following you? You shouldn't- You do not like poetry. I like some poetry. Well, there are good poets and bad poets. I like some of it. This is a poetry club. We meet at night to perform dramatic readings. Is that what you want? Sounds like fun. Sure, I'd like that. Then I suppose you may as well stay. Oh, good, you are joining. Then Tyrannus won't be lonely. The lynch kid? Is it safe for him to recite poetry with his bloodline? Poetry is meant to be shared, and secrets are meant to be kept. Do you promise never to tell anyone where the Midnight Poets meet? You can tell someone you're one of us, if you trust them, but you can't tell about the meetings. You have to bring them here. A magical promise is a solemn oath that can't be broken without severe consequences, but they're being careful not to ask for too much. I promise. We do have a rule. No love poems. Any other sort of poetry is okay. But since you probably didn't bring anything, you can just listen. I hope you like it. We settled back to wait for the other members to arrive. <clears throat> we settled back to wait for the other members to arrive. That's better. It's a small group. Tyrannus turns out to be the only other freshman. He glares at me, but the other members seem happy to have me present. One by one, members stand up to recite the poem they had planned for the evening. Many are funny, some are philosophical. Remember me when I am gone away, gone far away into the silent land. 
After that, everyone sits around for a while, talking about how their week has gone. And then we all break up to sneak back to our dorms. It seems I've joined my first secret society. Huzzah! And... Finally talk to our girl. For the first time. There we go. I saw William sneaking out of Wolf Hall at night and followed him to the secret meeting of the Midnight Poets. In order to join, I promise to never reveal where they hold the meetings. Maybe now we'll be better friends. With Corinna, maybe. There we go. Okay. It's nice being able to skip the president stuff. You should ask Luke, because they're buddies. Uh, I'm ready. Do I want white or red? This is a gas one. Eh, red's probably the most useful. Alright. All I really need is to be able to push this. Ow! Right in the face! Oh gosh, why? Why am I like this? Doop, doop. There we go. Grand. And just like that. I make my way up to the surface, blinking a bit at the sunlight. Congratulations, Franco! For succeeding in your quest, you receive five merits. And I'm glad to see you haven't taken too much damage from our little poison trap. I hope you enjoyed putting your skills into practice. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have another student to look after. Well, that's done. We did it. All right, nothing for me. And I will study with Minnie. Okay. Plans are coming to fruition. It's good, it's good. <laughs> Always, boo, wink. You can bang into me if you like. I don't mind. Oh, <laughs> oh that always makes me laugh. Alright, we're gonna risk it for the biscuit. I, I got biscuit. I, I lost my biscuit. <laughs> I got all the risk and no biscuit. Uh. Okay. And Minnie beat me again. Oh, well. No, actually, just lucky. I'm the lucky one. Not yet, you're not. Dang, I kind of want to do a flirtatious Damien run now. Oh, uh, well, unfortunately for you... Do I refuse or just... I think I'll just dump him. Let's just dump him. <laughs> I win and you lost, man. And many... I mean, many. Ellen is safe. Uh, yeah, sorry, many. I would like... Yeah, I gotta just send you away. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't give you the wrong idea. I'm going to read some poetry. I should... I don't know if this matters. I did this last time. What if I ask Miss Darden for help? How smart? I'm not very smart, so... I had better go finish that cleanup. Responsibility finally gets to me. I guess I'll have to keep a closer eye on her from now on. Oh, do I think that she snuck back? Minnie, did you sneak back? 
I'm gonna come yell at you, if so. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Eh, eh, I saw my girl. I saw my girl. We gather in the greenhouse for a meeting of the Midnight Poets. Corinna starts off with a poem about autumn. Season of mess and mellow fruitfulness. Close bosom friend of the maturing sun. A few other related pieces follow. I suppose the dark dance has made everyone aware of the changing seasons. One sophomore reads out a Halloween poem of ghouls and goblins, with a rhythm so strong that hands start tapping to the beat as he goes. William takes things in a more personal direction. We make ourselves the place apart, behind light words that tease and float. But oh, the agitated heart, till someone find us really out. And then it's my turn. I pick up the poem I copied down from Miss Darden's book. Life like a marble block is given to all a blank inchoate mass of years and days, whence one with ardent chisel swift essays some shape of strength or symmetry to call, one shatters it in bits to mend a wall. The poem continues, as some use their gifts in different ways, but the least are those so lost in dreams of building a grand life that they do nothing until their days run out. I don't know yet where my life should go, but I'll try things until I find out. Several listeners nod. Next comes Tyrannus' turn, and he reads what I recognize as an angry bit of Shakespeare. At last we toast our cultural success with tiny paper cups of spiced apple juice, and then turn in for the night. Alright, alright. I think that went fairly well. Uh, let's read about it. My goodness. Early bird, one little spark. Dump, <laughs> dump Damien. Oh, interesting. So there's two entries for that. <laughs> he was quite angry about it. Yeah! Let's see, Raven Poetry. The Midnight Poets had a meeting tonight, and I was expected to bring a poem. I think my reading went over pretty well. Okay. What more can you ask for than that? Okay, how are we doing? This is at 20. So, I need to get red to 45 now. Let's just start working on red and white. We can do this. Nice. A three. A zesty three. Uh, you can... I'll let you talk. And off she goes. <laughs> Go ahead and talk, Minnie. I know you want to. Okay. My goodness. We're skipping so much stuff. Corinna is hardly in this. This is gonna be a short route. Which is okay. Can you do a seal spell? I'm useless. Okay. Do that. Nice. Okay, having another meeting. Um, Ellen came and found me anyway, because she's angry and things. Try to figure it out. Let's see. Uh, you cast push, girl. I'll be the pitcher. There we go. I'm gonna stay quiet. And I'm gonna study. I still don't have any money. Need bingos in my life. Not yet. It's not our time yet. It's already no the middle of November. <laughs> Cupid. Uh, can I invite Corinna? I cannot. Okay, well, I'll ask Donald and Luke then, because they won't come with me. <laughs> Rude boys. I thought we were friends. Whatever, man. I can take a hint. Oh, that fire. Is this the cat one? 
I guess red's probably the best one to have for that. No, it's not the red one. I mean, it's not the cat one. I find myself standing in a stone corridor. The exit from this dungeon has been hidden. Choose your path carefully. Be cautious, all is not as it seems. Hmm. I might not even be able to do this one. I got flames. Darkness, diagnosis. I wonder if I can find the other circle. If I would be able to then activate the thing. And I can try. Otherwise I got nothing. Uh, okay, I don't have true sight on my... Oops. Ah, drat. Drat again. Okay. Well, I found that right off the bat. Okay. Anything? No. How about... Spirit Echoes? Oh! You see a student in Iris Academy robes tracing out a complicated pattern on the magic circle. You feel satisfaction and a wrenching sensation. Okay. Very cool. Okay, so you can solve that with white magic too. This is such a good magic game. I'm consistently impressed. Okay, so it's not here, huh? Oh, where, oh, where is the way out? Oh, where, oh, where can it be? Ah. Um, hmm. Running out of mana here. Weird. Usually there's a wall around here, but not this time. Nani? Oh, come on, I was so proud. I finally like did a thing. Uh, hopefully. Oh, there it is, my goodness. That was well hidden. I make my way up to the surface, blinking a bit of the sunlight. Congratulations, Franco! For succeeding in your quest, you receive five merits. I hope you enjoy putting your skills into practice. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have another student to look after. Well, that's done. I'm quite pleased with how that went. Okay, they're arguing. Why are you so angry, though? How did I end up getting so close to you again? Um, okay. So I only got $30, so I'm just gonna do some window shopping. Um, uh, I'm gonna get back to work. It's all about making connections with people, right? I can do that. I'm flirtatious. I go back to the booth. I think I see. More eye contact, more positive energy. Right! And so I return to work ready to be charming while Minnie goes back to her seat. Whether I succeeded, who knows. Uh, cheese, please. Okay. Uh, mysterious note. <laughs> Confrontation, Ellen's frustration, candle booth. She made us snacks. Alright, I'm gonna find Corinna. I'm gonna do it. 